Hey everybody, Greg Ray here with Outdoor Solutions Long Range Shooting Schools and we are bringing you another Tacticam tip. So this month I wanted to talk to you all about hunting with a second focal plane optic. Now we're not going to go down the rabbit hole of first focal plane versus second focal plane. We've actually already done that so if you want to see that video we'll leave a link to it in the description. But a lot of people now with more modern optics have them they have all the bells and whistles and quite frankly a lot of people are not too sure what the bells and whistles are for so i just want to kind of go through that i've always hunted with a second focal plane optic that's my preference our instructors not so much they prefer first focal plane so anyway i just want to share how i hunt with it and uh, pass along some of that knowledge to you guys so uh first and foremost hunting with any optic if you're walking around hunting mule deer elk whatever it is always 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 have your magnification on the lowest setting for obvious reasons if something pops up right in front of you at 50 yards or even 100 yards you have that magnification turned all the way up you throw your rifle up all you're going to see is brown you're going to have no idea where your animal is and you're going to be searching for it. it's going to be too late and you're going to miss so always walk around with it on its on its lowest magnification so to kind of start going down the rabbit hole a little bit hunting with a second focal plane when you're looking through the reticle, and we're going to show you here in just a second with the uh, Tacticam FTS of what I'm looking at, but when you're looking at your reticle, the subtensions all have an assigned number depending on what uh, brand you're using and what the manufacturer set them at. So I'm using a Zeiss Conquest V4, and all the subtensions when at full power on this particular optic is a 6 to 24, so full power would be 24 magnification. My subtensions are set at one minute of angle. Now, the disadvantage with second focal plane is that whenever you go off of that full magnification, your subtensions change. So they are no longer accurate at that one minute of angle setting like I have here on this optic. So what I want to do is I'm going to get down on the rifle and I'm going to show you some holds of what they would be in this particular model and then what they would be is if we went to uh, half magnification or in this case since I'm using a 6 to 24 would be 12. Obviously if you're hunting with a 3 by 9 optic uh, half power is going to be four and a half. If you're hunting with a very common 3 to 18 half is going to be 9. So you just need to look at your particular optic and uh, you can see what I'm talking about. So on this model as you can see uh, I've got 24 full magnification if I turned it all the way up. I very rarely personally hunt at full magnification. It just, uh, magnification can be your enemy. Everybody automatically assumes you just need to turn it to full magnification. I actually go to half magnification on all my optics. This one, since it's a 6 to 24, half is going to be 12. Zeiss even put an arrow on there, and as you can see, S times 2, which is subtension times 2. So what that means now is instead of my holds being one minute of angle, my holds are going to be doubled or my subtensions are going to be doubled. So what was now one minute of angle is now two. When I get to five minutes of angle, it's now 10. When I get to 10, it's now 20. You kind of get the picture. We're going to show you that now through the Tacticam FTS. Okay, so we've got the uh, Tacticam FTS hooked up on the scope. So you guys are going to be able to see what I'm seeing and I'll give you just a little explanation uh, of how the reticles are on uh, this particular optic or how the subtensions are. So on this optic, you can see I've got a floating crosshair. The measurements on that crosshair, the bottom uh, edge of it is one minute of angle when I'm at full magnification. And you can see the very next larger line, so that would be two minutes, then the small hash mark is going to be three minutes. And then you can go down to the next long line and you can see all the way out to the end that Zeiss gives us a number and it says five. So that tells me that I'm at five minutes of angle. So now here's where the difference on a second focal plane comes into play. Let's say I don't need all that magnification and half power is pretty much where I always hunt with a second focal plane. It gives me all the magnification that I need and I have a much wider field of view so that if I happen to shoot at an animal and I hit, I can see my own impact and I can see what direction the animal went. That's the main reason that uh, I hunt at half magnification. 
So now that bottom part of the crosshair that I said was one minute at half power is now two minutes of angle. And if we go all the way down to where that five is on the right hand side, instead of being five minutes of angle at half magnification, it is now 10 minutes of angle. So if you do the math, you see the numbers down there, you see the 10, that's now 20 minutes of angle. So what I'm going to do next is uh, we'll do a couple, send a couple of rounds down range. I'll use the exact same hold at full magnification and then the same hold at half magnification so that you can see the difference. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do now. We've got the uh, FTS set up so you can see what I'm seeing. And then we also have the spotter LR set up focused on the target so you can see the impacts there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to send one round down range at full magnification using a one minute hold. Then we're going to go to 50% magnification using the exact same hold so you can see what happens with the elevation of the impact. Here we go. All right, so what I'm going to do is hold the bottom of that floating crosshair right at the top of that diamond. I'm at full magnification. So there you can see the impact was right at one minute. So now what I'm going to do, change my magnification to 50%, which like I said on this optic is 12. And I'm going to do my best to do the exact same hold. Hold the bottom of that floating crosshair right at the tip of that diamond. And you can see already, see where the center of that crosshair is? It's already up two minutes. So now if you look at the elevation on that, all I did was change going from full magnification to half magnification, did the exact same hold. And as you can see, what we saw through the spotter LR is that I'm one minute higher with the exact same hold. So that's what a second focal plane optic does different. So whenever you're out in the field, the best advice that I can give you is that you need to know or understand what your sub tensions are uh, within your reticle. Now, on an optic like this, you know, we've got our dial that we can use. Sometimes you just don't have time to use it, uh, and the reticle is going to be much, much faster. So make sure that you understand what your subtensions are and determine whether you're going to shoot at full magnification or half magnification. Hope you guys enjoyed this Tacticam tip, and we will see you all next month.